Welcome to our YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, let's answer question from random post dito sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Three 5 peso coin are toast. What is the probability of getting at most two heads? At ito yung mga choices. Is it letter A, 3 fourth, B, 1 fourth, C, 3 eight, or D, 7 over 8. Pero bago ang lahat, para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin na wag niya, wag niyo nang yung i-message kasi tambak na yung mga messages. Kung meron kayong concern, dito na lang sa free reviewers managed by Lunalin na FB page. Kung naghanap naman kayo ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, mas magandang direkta na lang kayo dito sa files sa FB group na to. Philippine Civil Service Review for All. At ito naman yung iba pa mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Now, balikan natin to. Tatlo daw. Huwag tayo magpapalito dito sa 5 peso. 3 na tatlong coin tinotoast. What is the probability of getting at most 2 heads? Now, ang sagot ko sa post na ito versus kay Sir Diaz, ito ay mali at yung sagot niya ay tama. Now, paano naging mali yung sagot natin? While I was making this video, na-realize ko na ini-ignore ko pala yung at most. Ito yung tandaan natin. Kapag at least, at least, that means, more than or equal to. Kapag at most. This means less than or equal to. Ang nandito ay at most. Hindi naman yan exactly two heads. So, kung exactly or wala yung at most na yan, kung two heads lang sana, ang sagot dyan ay 3 over 8. So, at most means less than or equal Equal to. So, meaning, walang head, may isang head, or dalawang heads. Yung magiging fraction natin dito. Yung nasa numerator, yan yung number of favorable cases. Yan yung walang heads, merong isa, at dalawang heads. Then, over total number of cases. Now, doon tayo sa total number of cases. I-drawing muna natin itong tatlong coins na ito. So, meron tayong heads at tail. I-ABCD na lang natin. So, this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Kung si A, yan yung posibleng mapares ni C, D, at si C, D, pwedeng mapares ni E, F. Yung isa naman ay E, F. At ganun din si B, na posibleng mapares ni C, D, at ganun din yung tig-isa dyan. So, therefore, itong dalawa na to, merong tig-dalawa. So, that means 2 times 2. Yung dalawa naman dito ay meron ding tig dalawa times 2. Now, 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. In short, yung total, total number of cases ay 2 cubed. Ganun lang yan siya. This means 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Now, doon naman tayo sa number of favorable cases. Saisahin natin yan para klaro lang yung favorable cases natin. Since 8 lang naman sila lahat. Unang toast, posibleng tatlo yung heads. Next, posibleng dalawa lang yung isa naman ay tail. Posibleng isa lang yung dalawa ay tail. Next, posibleng lahat ng yan ay tail. Posibleng ding dalawang tail isang head, tapos isang tail, dalawa yung heads at yung iba ay nasa gitna yung tail. So, ito ay parisa natin ng heads. Ito naman ay mga tails. 
Now, ilan yung mga combinations natin dito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 yan sila lahat. Now, yung sagot kong 3 over 8, which is mali yun kasi ini-ignore ko yung at most. Now, halimbawa, ignore natin yung at most na yan. Meron tayong dalawa dito. And then, dalawa. Dalawang heads din dyan. Therefore, meron tayong tatlo na may exact dalawang heads. So, 3 over 8. Kaso, yung tanong dito ay at most. At most 2 heads means less than or equal to 2 heads. At ito yung 0, 1, at 2. So, obviously, mali yung sinagot ko dito. So, meron na tayong tig dalawa. Consider natin yan siya. Next, yung isang head, 1, meron dito at meron din sa last. Next, yung walang head na puro tail lang. So, ang natitira lang naman dyan ay isa lang. So, therefore, 7 yung favorable cases dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, therefore, ang tamang sagot dito, number of favorable cases, 7. Total number of cases, 8. So, 7 over 8. It's letter D. Ma'am, masyado namang mahaba yung explanation dyan. Meron ba tayong shortcut? Kasi sa actual na exam, oras yung kalaban nyo. Now, sa shortcut, meron tayong tatlo dyan. Ang mga heads at tail, tig dalawa. So, therefore, that is 3 cubed equals 8. Yan yung total, always yan na nasa denominator. Na unang-una, Yung ini-ignore natin yung at most. Kapag ini-ignore natin yung at most, tapos two heads lang, i-write down mo lang yung mga possible na two heads siya. So, this is T tapos dalawang heads. Tatlo lang talaga yan siya. So, 3 over 8. Yan yung total. At ito naman yung exact na tig dalawang heads. Pero, to answer this question, na huwag nating i-ignore yung at most. So, ang tanong dito is at most two heads. What is the probability of getting at most two heads? Meron na tayong total number of cases. Now, remember, ang at most ay less than or equal to 2. So, meron tayong 0, 1, at 2. Sa tatlong coins na yan, isang beses lang dyan ang Parihong heads, tatlo yung heads. So, therefore, yung total minus 1 equals 7. Yung 7 na yan, yan yung numerator natin. Numerator, saan natin lagay? Yan yung num numerator at yung denominator, yan yung mismong total. Kaya, ang tamang sagot dito, ito na yung short shortcut, ha? Yung tamang sagot dito ay 7 over 8. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.